everyone, it's Lava Treasure here, and welcome back to this week's little gaming video. Welcome back to yet another Markiplier fan game, and no pun intended, that's actually the title of the game, if you guys have remembered for the last two days in a row. <laughs> But anyway, in the last episode, we had to get through SCP, which was a total bitch and a half. And now we actually have to go face Pun Cake Man himself. And we're about to go into outer space, I think. So let's just go ahead and jump right into the game. Well, here she is, the Type 52 Interstellar Dropship. Now, isn't that just a phantom from Halo? No, these are pur those are purple. The Type 52 is red, so it's totally different. Right. Mm, sure. Whatever you say, buddy. Uh, is there an instruction manual for this thing? Well, no idea. Yeah, it's totes experimental. Instead, I'll just radio you how to work the controls from here where it's safe. Wait, what? Bon voyage, you guys! Are you sure we can trust this guy? We don't have much of a choice. Onward to friggin' space! <laughs> Alright, well, let's go, I guess. Okay. Wow, there's a fighter jet in here. It's an F-18E Super Hornet. I had no idea you knew so much about place, uh, much about planes. Well, there's a lot you don't know about me, Marky. Oh, fair enough. Okay, let's hop in. Oops, sorry, I was trying to go up the ass, but nope, that didn't work. Okay. Oh, here we go. Okay, let's go ahead and pilot the controls. Well, hello? Hello, hello? Is this thing working? Uh, we can hear you, Dex. Could you tell us how to fly this thing? Well, sure, just hit the ignition button, throttle up, and pull back on the stick. The flight computer will help guide you to Kangloria. Oh, one last thing before you go. The Pancake Man informed me of your plan to stab him in the butt before you got there. Make sure you give that guy as much pain in the ass as he gave me. I hated working for him. Will do. Markiplier, take enough. Away! <laughs> Away to outer space. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> Very nice. Whee! I wanted to see how long I could hold that E. Space! <laughs> God, I love space. Well, hold on, Mark. We got asteroids ahead. You mean those giant round space balls hurtling towards us? Yes, those! Uh, do I even need to say be- Oh. <laughs> yeah, you go, whoops. Can I just- No, I can't hold it down. Okay, that's fine. I'm just gonna stay right here in the middle because I can. And whatever I get close to, I get close to. And whoa, I'm just gonna keep hurting myself through outer space because good lord. Oh, I love me a challenge. All right, let's go here. Let's go there. Whoa, there's King Gloria, Mark. It's so purple. Well, that was a very short trip. No, I feel like we've seen this planet somewhere before, though. <laughs> yep, I knew it. I recognized it, like, right off the bat when I saw it. I'm like, I never played that game, but I've seen it many times before. Woo! I'm probably just imagining things, but let's just finish this. Very good. Well, according to these coordinates, the Punk Hickman space should be just up ahead. Oh, finally, I get to meet this a-hole and stab him in the a-hole. <laughs> Mark, it's Dex. There is something really important I forgot to tell you. Can it wait for a bit? I'm in the middle of doing some calibrations. Whoops. Wait, what the hell was that? That's the thing I was going to warn you about. You see, the Punk Man kind of forced us to give him a high-tech fighter jet just before he left. An ADX... An ADFX-02 Morgan, to be exact. And you're telling me this now? <laughs> Marky, we can't take a hit from that laser. Go take the Hornet to the back and distract him. I'll fly the ship. Well, thank you, Tiny Pucks, Tim. I'll always remember you. Oh, you say that like I'm about to die or something. Now go! <laughs> Tiny Pucks, Tim, you are my hero. You are a hero to us all. I love you. Okay, here we go. Uh, press M to fire missiles. Oh, yikes. Okay. Oops. Well, I ran right into the laser beam. My bad. Alrighty. Awesome, awesome beans. Awesome beans. Do you have a laser on your ship? Oh, yes, I freaking do. Oh, God. Okay, I gotta avoid that laser and make sure that, you know, I don't freaking explode. Oh, God. The only problem is I don't know where that laser is gonna go next, so I'm afraid to go up or down. I have no clue. <laughs> okay, there we go. All right, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Come on. Come into frame. There we go. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Come into frame. I love you. Okay, I'm just gonna stay up here and maybe do some hot mess tricks, you know. Fuck. 
<laughs> Damn it! Okay, stay down here, stay down here, stay down here. I think you follow me back to my home planet. Harder to find than the blacksmith. Okay, stay down here. All right, this seems to be a pretty good strategy so far to stay right down here because he kind of goes up there in the middle. So, ah, you see, I'm the one who's got you. Grr, <laughs> I love it. See, I can't concentrate on reading that and concentrating on this this evil villain right here. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to pass on reading the freaking dialogue at the moment because it looks like it's just cute banter anyway. So... <laughs> I have a feeling I'm leading myself into false sense of security. <laughs> uh, I, okay, alright. I don't know how this is gonna go, but if it goes well, hopefully it'll go well. Okay, so far I seem to have a pretty good strategy going. Just a little bit. Get down. Okay. So far, pretty good stratagem. Okay, you are out of missiles. B to blow. Okay. Okay, stay down. All right, good. Oh no! Damn it! Uh, I'm not going anywhere because damn that laser beam. You know what, Tiny Box Tim? You're supposed to have my back. What the hell happened? You know, you're supposed to be shooting this thing. Shit, you're supposed to be shooting this thing out of the air. Why is it taking so long? Why do I have to worry about my 12 missiles hitting this guy? Oh man, I wish I had more missiles. That would be great. But no, that's not how this is gonna go. Fine, fine, be that way. I can't read the dialogue and concentrate on this. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Is Tiny Box Tim okay? What's happening? No, I don't want Tiny Box Tim to die. What's going on? I'm gonna run out of bullets. I'm gonna run out of bullets. No, it's actually a good thing that he can't hurt me. I feel like this whole fight is a reference to something, but I'm not sure. What was that, Tim? Oh, nothing, Mark! No! Damn All it! Right. Woo! Okay, just stay right here. This is a pretty weird strategy, but you know what? It's working, and I want it to work because, good lord, I've been playing this game for too long today. All right, come on, come on. Okay, cocky. Pay attention. Pay attention. Pay attention. Yes! I got him! Oh, thank fuck! Oh no, he got me! Okay. <laughs> Ejector seat sound. Please don't tell me I have to do that again. Mark! Pull the eject lever! Get out of there! I'm trying! Got it! Ejector seat noise followed by explosion. I'll just let the explosion do the talking. Ooh, oh, thank God. I thought I had to go do that all over again. Phew! Whoa, damn, that was close. Wait, what the? Weren't you the same guy standing outside the bar? Whoops, forgot to take my human disguise off. Oh, God, no. Oh, my God! <laughs> really? Behold my true form. Press space to continue. What the fuck? Oh, God, it's like you're staring right through my soul with those big, beady little eyes. Wait a minute. You're a gingerbread man, not a pancake man. Yeah, it's pancake, you dingus. And you're going to look like one when I'm done with you. Oh, yeah, Mark, another thing I forgot to tell you. Ch uh, uh, Ching, Chingarilins. Sorry, I can't pronounce that word. I can't use our faces to smash things and flatten them like pancakes. So if you're on the ground with him, you should start running, like, now. Again, a little late on the info, Dex. Get over here so I can squish you. No, thank you! Woo! Damn it, why didn't I jump over that? I don't know, because I don't have a thing to jump! And a little line door, Kiplier! Any last words before I smash you into an oblivion? Uh, actually, yes. Dimitri Von Bowling Crusher sends his regards! Huh? Now, Tim! What the? Also, I like to say this. Ugh. Now that now's my chance. Look out, Mark! He's got a blaster. Uh oh, who's gonna die? 
Cheeky breaky bitch! Oh, my butt! <laughs> Okay, okay, all that frustration just went out the window. That was totally worth it. We actually got to stab someone in the butt. I'm very happy about this. Oh, halt, this is the Intergalactic Police. Pancake Man, you are under arrest for bribery, vandalism, attempted murderization, and just being a straight up douche. Oh no, I would have gotten away with the two if it weren't for the meddling Markiplier in his box. <laughs> Get on your feet and come with us. You have the right to shut up. <laughs> and he just walks away with my knife. I want my cheeky breaky back! Nice job catching that pun cake, man. <laughs> we were after that bastard for a while. There are over $50,000 reward for whoever caught him. I'd say you've earned it. Wow, 50 grand? What are you gonna do with it? I have an idea. Beat me up, Tim. We're going home. Yay! <laughs> I love that. Oh my god, that's so freaking adorable and stupid and awesome at the same time. Hey, do we get to keep the ship? No! Aww. <laughs> Poor Tim, he really wanted that ship. The punk egg man was sentenced to life in space prison after his confessing to his evil scheme in court. He was going to take out all the world's famous YouTubers in humiliating ways, hack into their bank accounts, and steal all their sponsorship money. Luckily, he made the mistake of targeting Markiplier first. The blacksmith's knife remains a pain in his ass to this very day. Yes! We did it! We did it! <laughs> Markiplier never needed to do a fundraiser livestream for Poindexter. He generously donated half of his 50 grand uh, reward to the Sigmund Corp. The other half went to charity. Later, Poindexter developed a new gadget for the Nine-Tailed Fox Mobile Task Force Unit. Jesus! And earned the SCP Foundation's funding once again. Nice! Yay! It's a happy ending all around! Dimitri, who was actually the son of Ludwig and Ludmillen von Balden, Balding Crusher, renounced his communist ways and started up a locksmithing business in his warehouse. It became quite a success. Oh, good job for you, Dimitri. You are so amazing. And for our hero, Markiplier, received a brand new Markimobile from the insurance company. And he lived happily ever after, with little Tiny Box Tim in his pocket. <laughs> well, at least until Tiny Box Tim ate all the meat in the refrigerator. Shit went down after that. <laughs> Yet another Markiplier fan game, written by Skyblaze84, animated by Muffin Man 845000 All the sprites, tiles, to artwork, and audio used in this game belong to the respective creators, but due to sheer laziness and having... So many random sources from the Google and YouTube, I cannot name them all because of the credits would go on for a <laughs> Okay. 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 I'm gonna go ahead and wrap that one up here. Overall, it was enjoyable. It was challenging. It was enjoyable. It was not straightforward. I didn't really like the save system. Um, but then again, I'm just used to the save system being the way it is. And you know, it's it's kind of refreshing in a way to run into something that's a little different. But I also didn't like the, the whole trolling aspect. Like I couldn't figure out the trolling aspect when it came to the Tesla fences in the SCP area. Uh, so, I mean, there was really awesome references, and uh, I love all the Mark Markiplier references in there, and, and I love that you g just put in the random characters that nobody was expecting, that nobody even thought of, you know, stuff like that, and you just made them uh, your own, and it was a really unique little story. It was really cute. The, the jokes were funny. Um, and I, I liked it. I, I actually liked it. You know, considering how frustrating it was at times, I did enjoy it. So there's a lot of bugs in there that do need to be fixed. So I don't know if you plan on doing it or not, because, you know, it's, I mean, it's, it's your game and you're going to do whatever, but it was enjoyable. It, you know, in its own right, it was enjoyable. So I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. If you, again, if you guys want to go try this game out for yourselves, links as always will be in the description box below. If you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And if you want to subscribe to the channel for more content from myself, feel free to do so down below. We also have a Discord server. So if you want to stop on in, pop on in or say hello, I will be there to greet you. And that link will be in the description box as well. And as always, thank you again so much for joining me today. And I hope you enjoyed today's little video. And don't forget to do awesome, be awesome, man. Stay awesome. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye, bye, bye.